to find the particular product in my database. So that is then referred to as product to update. Then what I need to do is I need to get all the keys out of this collection. Okay, all the keys out of this collection. And I do that by using, taking the collection method, using the all keys um, method, and converting that to an array. And I'm storing that in something called the parameter array. That essentially will contain the values that we have um, that have been returned uh, from the actual form that we modified. Um, then I need to update my model, my uh, linked SQL in memory model. And I do that by passing the, um, the product to update and the set of parameters which contains all the new values. And then after updating the model, then I go ahead and execute the submit changes method that I showed you earlier that is part of the partial class for the uh, actual database definition. Following that, I return back to the index uh, controller. So, uh, excuse me, the index method, action method of the product controller. So let's run this and make sure it works. Okay, here we are. So let's go to products. Let's not do it that way. Let's go to products. And um, let's again uh, drill down after we get our product list up here to our uh, Che. So we're going to edit that. I'm going to modify that name to XXX. And now because I have uh, some code written that will respond to this uh, save, um, we go back to the index and notice we have a name change here. Okay, so that's how we we handle the interchange between um, doing the get which gets us to this, um, making any changes that we want to make in that, for example let's change it back, um, and then we go through a post method back to the second uh, controller uh, edit uh, action method in the product controller and commit the changes to the database. Uh, now just for the fun of it, I've placed a breakpoint right here in my code um, just to show us what's happening. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rerun the application and I'm going to go ahead and do a break at that point. Okay, so I've gone ahead and drilled down to my products. Uh, let's go ahead and, um, and edit this product here. And I'm going to change this from XXX to um, um, YYY. Why? I don't know. Uh, and I'm going to click Save. And now we're going to hit our breakpoint. So here we are at this breakpoint. So let me go ahead and bring up the Locals window here. And um, let's take a look and see what we have. Actually, I don't want that part. Let me take that off. Um, notice we have um, our, our collection here. Um, so let's see what's in the collection. Here's our all keys. So all keys contain the name of the actual items that need to be processed for updating. And let me go ahead and step uh, over that. And uh, now we are um, talking about um, submitting the changes. We've already gone through and modified the product to update. So let's close that. Let's find the product to update. Notice the product update shows that um, the product name here is now been changed to YYY. So it went through and it made all the associated changes. And now when we go ahead and continue with uh, submit changes, which is about to execute, then this modified uh, product name will in fact be um, committed to the database. So you get a little sense for what's going on in this particular uh, scenario going to go ahead and stop this. So we have done everything that we wanted to do with regard to this with the exception of dealing with the create. Notice the create is also a, a, a get create so this comes from the user. Um, we need to fill in the view for that and then we need to fill in uh, the logic uh, that uh, handles the submission of the form that's in this view. So that will be the subject of the next video.